Hi, everybody. It's my honor to be sharing my light with you today. Um, you guys are so beautiful from the front. I haven't spoken to all of you yet, but um, I hope to connect with you at some point during the day. And before I even begin, I want to thank Kai. I don't know where he is, but thank you from the bottom of my heart for creating this for all of us. I mean, this is an unbelievable collective experience that we are sharing together. And I mean, what, what, a, what an honor. And um, alone, I mean, to just be experiencing this in Switzerland is amazing. So thank you for creating this for us. So um, I want to begin. Oh, I need the little clicker. <laughs> thank you. So what I'm going to be talking to you about is light. And I know the lights are turned on here today, um, but I'm talking about your inner light. And we all have inner light. We all have the choice to ignite our inner light and, and create that ripple effect that really lights people up. But first, you have to light yourself up and connect to your inner light and understand that you have that within you. We all have that. And so I will begin with me <laughs> to share my story with you so you can understand how, this, um, how I was able to connect to my inner light and ignite my light to share with you today. Um, so as Josh mentioned, I was born and raised in Switzerland, actually. And I do speak Swiss German. <laughs> um, and when we're born, we are, we're filled with light. I mean, you see a baby and you just want to pick it up and hold it. It's, it's pure, it's authentic, it's full of love and joy. And along life come stipulations, come situations that can hurt us and can dim our light. And it's that concept that I want to help people understand so that we can shine a light on everything that's kind of happened to us in life and dimmed our inner light and realize that we have a choice to, to change that around. So I was um, born in Switzerland. Both my parents um, do speak five languages. Um, my mother is, was born in Egypt and grew up in Lebanon. And uh, my father was born in Switzerland, but he grew up between Colombia and Venezuela. So growing up, I, I was uh, in a very small town in Switzerland, if anybody knows Hausen by Brook. <laughs> That's where I was uh, pretty much raised until I was 12 years old. And um, I, I grew up hearing five languages at the same time sometimes. And it was from, from a very early stage that I, I understood that the boundaries of the world are a pure illusion that we create. Because here am I growing up in this small town of Switzerland, yet hearing, you know, five languages of the world. And now how is that possible? It just was a really interesting connection that I, from an early age, kind of was trying to grasp. Um, and I did know that there was something bigger, that we were connected um, through something larger than what we, what we even could imagine. And uh, I spent most of my childhood in the forest, uh, just kind of exploring and being an adventurer, and I think it was through that experience where I really got in touch with my intuition, and it really taught me how to listen to myself and, and let myself be guided by myself, by my inner light. And so when I, was, um, when I entered um, my first grade, I, that, that was my first experience of, of something outside of the family life of um, the international, different languages, and, and I went into this um, school where my, I did have a, a, um, a little bit of an accent in Swiss German. I, I can't roll my R's, so in Swiss German that's pretty much a must. Um, so I was teased a lot. I was, um, I, I suffered a lot from being teased, and, and, and there was a kid in particular that um, just had it out for me. He was, you know, he, every break he wanted to come get me and, and beat me up, so I became very fast. And, <laughs> and, um, and so I, I, I live to tell that story, but um, that experience of, of teasing and, and people trying to, to bring you down and, and um, really just kind of blow out your light was something that I, instead of acting against him in, in anger and hate, I, 
I, from a young age, understood that for him to even have the capacity within him to want to inflict pain and harm onto me must, must mean that he's feeling that pain and anger a million times more than I could even imagine. And so instead of fighting back with, with hate and, and, and really darkness, I chose to, to, to forgive that, for, that experience. And, and I never had hate towards him. I really tried to um, understand, put myself in his shoes and understand why this was happening. And that led me to, to be able to connect with people much, much more easily, whether they were in pain or wanted to bring me down. I just, instead of letting fear take over me and, and want to fight back, and, and I, you know, create an eye for an eye situation, I instead just released and surrendered and, and gave in to love. And um, at the age of 12, we picked up and moved to Scottsdale, Arizona. The culture shock, I can't even begin to <laughs> describe. Uh, I mean, we went from a small Swiss town to this, you know, the American lifestyle and I just I'll never forget we arrived at the airport and and it was August in Arizona and the temperature gets up to 120 degrees uh, Fahrenheit which I think oh my gosh yeah it's it's hot so, <laughs> so I remember you know my father was getting the uh, picking up the luggage from the conveyor belt and he said Layla go go outside, you know, wait with your sister and your mom, and I'll be right out there. So I start walking towards the um, sliding doors to go outside, and before I even got maybe like a meter away, I just was overwhelmed by this heat, and it shocked me so much. I, I ran back to my father, and I said, Dad, there's a fire outside. And he said, no, Layla, that's the weather. That's... And, and so that was kind of my first welcome to, to the Wild West and Arizona. And so um, I entered sixth grade, and um, my, my experience was very much like uh, in the movie Mean Girls. I don't know if you've ever watched that, but um, I, I was, you know, I was sitting with the popular girls, and... Um, and uh, they had taken me in, and then I just, I, I was looking for something more, you know, I, I, I constantly wanted to challenge myself, and I think uh, that notion of just, you know, being in the forest and, like, being on these continuous excursions and finding new things, that, that just, that was always something within me, so um, I ended up going to sit with the punks, and then that just, you know, took me down a specific road, and, and I saw a lot of darkness and and I was around you know things that are are quite scary and and really can can harm people and take people down in a in a very dangerous way sometimes even to death and it was within that world where I really started to to open my eyes to the the difference you know of of how in every single moment we have a choice we have a choice of whether we want to choose light which I describe light as, as there's different facets to it. I mean, we, we are all light. We have that, that, that positive energy within us. It's our highest expression of self. And whether we want to choose light and go in love, hope, compassion, um, or we can choose darkness, which is just sinking into fear and hate and pain. And so it was almost like this, this phase between middle school and high school in America, I, I ended up being in, in Arizona for eight, uh, eight years until I graduated high school. And it was really um, an eye-opening experience for me. So I hopped over to London because I had gotten accepted to my dream school. My passion, my, my ultimate mission was to become a fashion designer. So I, I, I was thinking today, or last night actually, um, how funny it is that I'm standing here and instead of showing you my fashion designs, I'm talking about a lifestyle design. So um, it, was, it was interesting going to London and just immersing myself into the, the fashion industry and, and working at London Fashion Week. 
um, and I was working for a sustainable, ethical fashion designer. So from I, I already was trying to do like the most the best way that would help the world or or however I had imagined it. And um, so I, I found you know the most positive route in fashion, which was sustainable fashion. And it was um, in that situation where I, I, f I realized, you know, even though they're still trying to do um, a positive impact on the world, they, they're not taking themselves into consideration. Um, they're not trying to create a positive impact on themselves personally and really develop themselves. So I, I had, um, through a few different reasons, decided to move to LA and I was um, furthering my education there, and I ended up spending two years in LA, and I call those years my limbo years because I was um, just trying to figure out what on earth I wanted to do. I didn't want to stay in fashion anymore, and I had dibbled and dabbled in PR marketing, and, um, and it was in LA where I really came to understand and, and define what lights me up. And I came to realize that those, there were three things, and that was art, self-development and, and service, helping others, and, um, and just overall nourishment of food and, and well-being exercise. So I, I, I gave myself a challenge and I said, okay, how can I figure out how to share this in, in my best capacity with the world? Because that was my ultimate mission was to be able to share my light and with, with my biggest passions. So I went, um, I created this three month uh, meditation retreat for myself and I embarked on, on meditating every single day. And that's where I um, connected to, I, I was asking the universe, whatever you wanna call it, and I asked, you know, instead of my own name for my website, um, I, wanna, I want a name that everybody can connect to. So I, I was meditating and then the, the name Standing Light came to me. Um, and I'm gonna share this little story with you because um, when I was in 10th grade, I was still in Arizona, I was, I've always been passionate about um, s symbolic signs and, and within astrology and numerology. So I was in chemistry class and I was trying to figure out what my symbol could be. And I started doodling around and I, I'm an Aries, born on April 5th. So I was doodling the Aries symbol, which is the top, which is that. And then I was, I was writing five, but I was like, oh, there's a Roman numeral way. So I wrote the V. And then lo and behold, I'm looking at this heart. And that was my, my symbol. And so it is from my heart to yours where I, my mission is to connect, share, and create within the intention of light. And that forever stayed my logo and I even when I was 16 years old you know I was so excited and I went and tattooed it on myself and then um, so um, that um, after the three-month meditation I, I had decided to to move to New York because in the meantime my family had moved back to, Sw to Switzerland so the distance was quite quite um, large and, and it, it was, you know, the nine hour difference gave us only like a three hour window to really speak. And so I moved to New York and I was working in events while I was setting up Standing Light. And then um, it was, once I was ready to really embark on Standing Light, I, I left the events job and I, in March, formed Standing Light and since then have been really working very, very hard to find a way to really help people understand how to connect to their inner light. So um, if you will join me, I would love to go th uh, guide you through a, a light meditation. Are you open to that? Okay, so I'm gonna sit down here, I think. And I know I only have three more minutes, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly. <laughs> okay, so, and I just want you to um, take it. First, I'm gonna just explain how we're gonna do this. So I just wanna t take you, through this guided light meditation. And first, just take a very, very deep breath and, and take it in with all the most positive feelings you can imagine. Just love, light, loving yourself, thanking yourself for bringing yourself here today to, to design the life of your dreams and, and really understand that this was your choice. 
you, you brought yourself here today, you bought the ticket to create a life of your dreams, and it's a hundred of you in here. And how many else had the opportunity to do that, but they did not choose to do that. So thank yourself and take a deep breath in. And when you release, release everything that does not serve you. Release all the fear, all the negative thoughts, all the judgment, and just release it with the deepest exhale. And slowly I want you to start focusing and imagine that you have, there's just a little candle in your, in like your belly button. And imagine that, that's your light within, that's your inner light. And just focus on that little flame. And it's been there all along, it's been trying to guide you with its most powerful way. But there might have been experiences that came along that might have hurt you. People might have said certain things or you might have experienced certain situations that really, really dimmed that flame. But it never went out. It's always there. And I want you to start filling it with your thoughts and just filling it with love, with forgiveness, with compassion towards yourself. Forgive yourself for anything you might have done onto somebody else that might have not been the most positive thing that might have hurt them. Forgive yourself of that. Let that go. And with every loving, positive thought, you fuel that flame. Imagine this, this aura of light, the, the bubble of, of this light just expanding within you. And with every inhale, inhale love, inhale compassion, forgiveness towards yourself. And exhale anything that does not serve you. And I want you to start imagining this light within just starting to envelop your entire body. You're fueling it with so much love that it's it, it can't even contain itself within you. It's coming outside of you. It's lighting you up from within. And it's starting to come out of you in such a powerful way. And those, that, that light is filled and fueled with so much of your love and compassion that it's, it's, it's enveloping you with that energy. So much so that it's creating this bubble around you. It's your energy. It's your bubble of light. And imagine the person next to you having that same experience as you are right now. They're lit up. They're filled with joy, with love, with pure compassion. Imagine your light starting to connect with the neighbor next to you. You're now sharing the same energy. You're sharing the, your, your inner light. You're both connecting in that pure space of love, compassion. And it's starting to get so big that it actually is enveloping the two of you within the same bubble. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now imagine both of your bubbles just continuing to expand to the person behind you and in front of you, to the person next to your neighbor. And you're beginning to share that same energy that same light that's just pure joy and love. And just imagine this, this bubble of your most positive expressions getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's enveloping the entire room now. And we're all in the same energetic space, the same energetic space of pure love and light, compassion, Just feel that for a moment, that the power that we can create from within, 
that then ignites our inner light, so much so that we create a ripple effect. That it expands to our neighbors and then their neighbors. And soon we're in the same exact energy. When you're ready, start to come back to yourself. And thank yourself for having the courage to connect to your inner light. And even more so, to be able to share it with somebody. It takes a lot of courage to, to go within. But if you go within in love and compassion, you will be able to light up your shadows that do not serve you anymore. And slowly but surely, you will be able to ignite your inner light and live a light-filled life. Take a final deep breath in and let everything that does not serve you out. And when you're ready, open your eyes. How did that feel? <laughs> I want to thank you so much for sharing your light with me today. And if it's okay, can we show the video? Or do we, is that okay? Okay. Yeah. We are here to ignite our inner light. But on our journey from birth to death, our light gets dimmed. It can happen in infancy, childhood, or adulthood. For each person, there's a moment in time when their natural essence of light, love, and hope gets hidden by darkness. The darkness of anger, hurt, and pain inflicted by other wounded souls who had the same done onto them. We're told we're not good enough, not lovable, that we're deeply flawed instead of brilliant and beautiful, perfect in our imperfections. The dark thoughts become what we believe and what we create. We carry them out in our actions, destroying each other and our planet. An endless cycle of pain and suffering, sending us further from the light from which we came. But we can change all of this by igniting the light deep within, by healing the wounds hidden in darkness, breaking the cycle of pain and suffering. We can choose love, forgiveness, and compassion we have the power to embrace our light and help others do the same, creating a ripple effect. This ignites a revolution of light. If we have the courage to uncover the layers of darkness within and release it, taking the higher road in every test that life presents, choosing love instead of hate, faith instead of fear, we can begin to rise in light. We are powerful beyond our imagination. We have the strength to face our pain and find our inner light when we are ready to find our way. We are here to connect, share, and create in the light and make our world a better place. Not just for us, but for our children and our children's children. Let us become standing lights. It is up to you whether you rise up in light or sink into darkness. Choose to rise and let there be light. Okay. <laughs>